Alice Chapter 4, Lesson 10, Shapes Game. We would use if control structure with functions to create an interactive program. The Shapes Game animation. This assignment will let you guess which shape is different by clicking on the shape. If you click on the right shape, the creature, the Kurupira, should do something and let you know you're right. If you guess incorrectly, the creature, Kurupira, should do something else and let you know you're wrong. So let's watch this animation to see what your shapes game animation would look like. Getting started. Start Alice. Open the Chapter 4, Lesson 10, Shapes Game Program from the backpack. Save the file as Chapter 4, Lesson 10, your name in your student account. Put your name, lesson, date in the comment block in my first method at the top. So let's get started with Lesson 10, Shapes. So the first thing you would do is create procedures. When we create procedures, we want to create procedures for the biped. So we would go to the class menu and go to biped and then add biped procedure. I'm going to call it as correct answer and press OK. I need to write code for correct answer. Now, Kuropira should let us know that the answer is correct. So the first thing we want to do is use the say statement. I'm going to drag and drop say and select custom text string and type in you are correct. Press OK. Now we want him to do some action. So we're going to first make his head nod so we're going to select this and select get head. Now we're going to use the turn statement to make his head turn forward. And then again we want to use the turn statement to make his head turn backward. So this would make a nod. Now we can have this all at the same time. Head turn forward, head turn backward cannot be at the same time. So we're going to use do in order and put these two inside it. Now we want the say and nod to happen at the same time. So I'm going to drag and drop do together and put these instructions inside. Now that he's super excited, he wants to jump. So again, I'm going to select the Kurupira by selecting this and I'm going to make him move up maybe one meter and I'm going to make him move down same amount. So this is what's going to be in my correct answer procedure. Now let's go to biped again. Now let's add biped procedure and call it as wrong answer and press OK. So in a wrong answer we want again the Kurupira to say something that will let us know that the answer is wrong. So I'm going to use say statement and type in wrong answer. Press OK. Then he has to nod his head left and right to show us that the answer is wrong. So again I'm going to select his head that is get head and I'm going to make it turn and I'm going to say turn left I'm going to say point 125 and then I'm going to again make his head turn right and this time I'm going to make it half. I don't know maybe this is correct maybe not we'll try it and see and again I want to use turn left point 125. If you're not sure you can always go to my first method and go to Kurupira and drag and drop wrong answer and check to see if it works correctly or not. Wrong answer, left, right, the numbers are not correct. 
So for wrong answer, probably we can put this as 0.25, again run. That is better. So now that we know our wrong answer procedure is correct, I'm going to just delete it from here because that was just my testing. So now we have our two procedures, correct answer and wrong answer. Now we need to use these two procedures in our events. So I'm going to go to my event listeners. I'm going to create an event and let's use the mouse event. Mouse event. I'm going to drag and drop my if control structure and I'm going to select the relational S thing and I'm going to select cone because cone is my different shape. Now I'm going to say if my mouse location is equals to cone then the answer is correct. If it's not cone uh, that means if it's anything else if this is not true then my answer is wrong. So now let's click run and test and see if our program works correctly or not. So I'm going to click on the cylinder it says wrong answer and he's shaking his head to say no. If I click on yellow cylinder, again wrong answer. And if I click on the cone, the answer is correct and he's jumping. So if you want to make him look super excited for correct answer, you can always use the count to make him go up and down. Maybe you can make him jump twice. Now if you want him to nod his head again, you can use count twice and you could put do in order in here. So now when I click run, I select cone, he's going to nod his head twice and he's going to jump twice. So this is what our program looks like. We have two biped procedures, correct answer, wrong answer, and we did write code in there. Now don't forget to add a comment at the top of your procedure that tells us uh, actions for correct answer. Same thing, we go to wrong answer, and don't forget to put a comment in here. We're going to write actions for wrong answer. So we have a two biped procedures complete, correct answer and wrong answer. And we have used function to check a condition and then make a decision based on the condition. If this is true, if the correct shape is cone, that means the answer is correct. If it's not cone, if this is not true, the answer is wrong.